You took up a new religion and you took the oath of poverty, huh? <laughs> Mrs. Lane, I was mugged. <gasps> In this country, how terrible. How did it happen? Sit down and I'll tell you. Oh, my goodness. No, not there. That's for company. <laughs> Listen, if you're going to tell me what happened, you have to stop dancing up and down like that. Who's dancing? This barrel is a sugar barrel, and the itch is driving me crazy. Well, instead of a sugar barrel, why didn't you get a flour barrel? It wouldn't itch as much. Where'd you think I got this? At the tailor's? I ran nine blocks nude before I found this barrel. What time did it happen? I don't know. The first thing they took was my watch. Why would you run in here like this, Mr. Kapopoulos? After all, you know I'm a widow. They took all my keys. Your reputation is safe, Mrs. Lane. Everybody on this block knows that if a man wants to have an affair, he doesn't call on a woman in a barrel. Oh. <laughs> Let me go upstairs. I'll get you some of Penny's clothes. I would appreciate it. Mr. why and how did they mug you? Well, I was walking along the street. Yeah. When out of nowhere come these two guys. Yeah. They pushed me up against the wall. And before I had a chance to defend myself, they had a gun on me. <gasps> the first thing I knew, I was taking my clothes off. But it's still light out. It's a wonder somebody didn't see you getting held up. Over 300 people witnessed it. <gasps> and if it was a half hour sooner, it would have been during the rush hour. <laughs> then more people would have watched me get mugged than watch Barbara Streisand and the Hollywood Bowl. <laughs> it's terrible, just terrible what people will do for money. Well, I think I better call the police. Oh, you're right. I'll do it for you. Hello. Operator. Yes, would you give me the number of the police department? Six... Oh, I need a pencil. Have you got a pen? No. Uh, uh, yes, I have it. Oh, listen, instead of me getting it, would you get it for me, Operator? The police department, yes. Oh, Sergeant McGuire, this is Mrs. Lane at 428 Chestnut. Yeah, there's been a mugging. The time... Well, well he doesn't know. The first thing they did was steal his watch. <laughs> so I don't know anything about the mugger, but the muggy is standing right next to me in a barrel. Yes, are you going to send someone over? Well, send them over right away, because it's a sugar barrel, and it's very itchy. <laughs> well, that's what I told him, Sergeant. If he'd went into a flower barrel, it wouldn't be so bad. Oh, good, you're sending someone over. This man is going to be here in just a minute. Hi, Mr. Kapopoulos. Where you going to a masquerade? If you just keep quiet, he'll give you three guesses like he gave me. I was mugged. Mugged? What time did it happen? Are you going to tell him about the watch, or should I? <laughs> you know, that's the third mugging in this neighborhood this month. Something has got to be done. Oh, Freddie, please don't get involved in another cause. Our relationship just won't stand it. Why don't you go upstairs to Kenny's room and get some of his clothes? I better. The itch is driving me crazy. <laughs> you know, this used to be a very quiet neighborhood. Well, there were never any muggings. Now they come here to practice. I wish my... I don't like to think of them out once the sun goes down. You know, I'm going to go down to City Hall and get an anti-mugging petition. I'm going to get everybody in the neighborhood to sign it. Yeah, well, while you're at it, why don't you get a marriage certificate at the same time? Vicky wouldn't mind signing. <laughs> That's the police. Now, listen, if you tell them anything about your committee, I'm going to tell them that you make mace in the cellar. <laughs> yeah, and the, the policeman may be a Republican, so don't show him your autographed picture of Lindsay, okay? Fear has taken over this house. Well, if it isn't the little old man. Where's Kenny? I got his... Well, he's not home. Well, have his camera up. 
Well, he's just not home. You're looking at me as though you were expecting somebody else here. Oh, we were. We were expecting the police. <laughs> Mr. Kapopoulos got mugged, and the police are on their way over. Hey, Dean, were you ever mugged? Yeah, one night on my way home from the local tavern, I was mugged. Well, what did they get? 28 pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's the victim? Look at me. Another mother for peace. Kenny's door was locked, so I borrowed from you, Mrs. Lane. Who is this? The poster boy for a gay liberation. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're Dean Martin. Mm. Hey, what's a quiet drunk like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> well, you know, didn't I have a run-in with you a while back? Something about an automobile? That's right. Something was stolen from the back of my car. Yeah, what was that? My girl. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> You'll never guess what happened to us. 